I wanted some candy, I think I'd go for Reese's. <laughs> that would be the one. Have we discussed this? Is that why you say that? Reese's is my least favorite candy what? of any. Peanut butter, chocolate? No, no, no. That is delicious. <laughs> well. I feel like you're an entirely different person now. By I the know. way, I, it just came to me. Maybe if you're up in space, Mars. You might reach for a Mars bar. I, yeah, yeah, I agree with that one. Good one. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, taking, Back on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> taking a look at a system up towards the north, bringing some much-needed rainfall to northern California. Happy weekend, everyone. Well, we had a gorgeous sunny day today with mild conditions, 50s to 60s at the coast, even got into the 70s inland, but we do have a system coming our way. You can see this front up towards the north. Unfortunately, we've been seeing high pressure staying with us. That's been sending any storm system up towards our north, staying up there. If we see any impacts from this front, it's just going to be a little bit of a wind and a little bit of a temperature drop as well as some cloud cover. So really nothing major from it, but looks like tomorrow will be a few degrees cooler. As of right now, we have a little bit of a breeze off the coast, so that's actually keeping temperatures pretty mild. Look at that, 52 for San Francisco down to Pebble Beach. Beach. A little cooler inland, of course, 46 in Hollister, but actually pretty mild to start right now. Taking a look at the state view, you can see not too cold, but Lake Tahoe at lake level, 34 degrees. So good indication that we're not too chilly yet, but behind that front looks like we'll cool down just a bit. Lots of 40s and 50s across the state. And for tomorrow, temperatures are going to drop off just a bit. So you can see Monterey, San Francisco, upper 50s to near 60, where today we saw a lot of mid 60s to low 60s. So it's just a few degrees cooler. Take Taking a look at that system, you can see a little bit of green. You can also see some snowfall up towards our north. And we do have winter weather watches and warnings uh, for parts of the Pacific Northwest into the Rockies. But looks like we're going to see any chances of rain across the state just in that very northern part. And that's about it dry across the rest of the state of California and looks like that's going to be the case uh, with the next couple of systems. So let's go through our time looking at our future cast. You can see that green as well as the blue. The blue is snowfall but doesn't even look like much snow in Northern California. Any of that stays up towards our north and east. We do see this little breeze that's going to pick up tomorrow afternoon into your Monday. Monday will be a bit breezy as well with a mix of sun and clouds. And then as we go into the rest of the week, we still stay in this zonal flow. So that's just temperatures not changing much, staying in the same range of 50s to 60s, sunshine with maybe some overnight fog. But we're watching a system develop for late in the week. As of right now, looks like the only pit impact that would have is maybe some cooler air coming down with it. Not looking at much when it comes to rainfall, but we're hoping to see this shift, some more of a meridional flow over the next week or so, and hopefully that'll bring a chance of some of this rainfall coming our way with the next system. Of course, this is a ways out though, so not making any forecast of rain yet, but at least there's looking like a slight chance. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks, Gina. Sports are next, don't go anywhere. That's all we have for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good night.